Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Go ahead. Let's give him glory. Give him praise. Somebody. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, hallelujah. If it wasn't for the goodness of God, if it wasn't for the greatness of God, where would you really be? If it wasn't for the grace of God, if it wasn't for the mercy of God, oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Well, if you notice my title, it says that God says that we are likened unto Job. You see, a lot of us, and, and I'm saying true Christians, are even the ones that are even not. Everybody is going through it these days. You're going through something. I don't know what your something is, but you're going through because we have a known enemy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want to take you on a journey, the journey that we're all going through, but who went through it first? Job. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, I could break this thing down so many ways, but we're going to start from the beginning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. So we're going to start. Job was a wealthy man living in a land called us, UZ, with a large family and extensive flocks. God boasts to Satan about Job's goodness, but Satan argued that Job is only good because God had blessed him abundantly. Doesn't that sound familiar? Satan challenges God. If you give me permission to punish him, Job will turn and curse you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all wondering what the fight is about? God was bragging on you. Have you, have you considered my servant? You ain't ready. Have you considered my servant? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And we all know the story of Job. He was a righteous man. He was trying to do what was right. But there was two flaws in his character. Now, God called him the righteous man. Don't get it twisted. But the Bible says that he feared what came upon him the most. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He feared what came upon him the most every time. Let me turn this phone off. I should know my lesson by now. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he feared what came on him the most. And, and when it happened, I mean, it happened back to back to back to back. My brother, my sister, have it ever happened to you back to back to back to back? And let me tell you something. Let me be clear. Satan is a sucker. He will sucker punch you all day long. You don't notice when things, when you're going through, that's when people turn. Your job will start acting funny. I'm talking about people you didn't even think of. You're looking at them crazy like, okay, I did just tell you what I'm going through, right? And even his friends, you remember when he was on his deathbed? Well, 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 you must have did something, Job. Oh, don't that sound familiar? You, you had to do something. Uh, then the other one, justifying themselves. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me this morning. Life and God will allow you to get hit. I call them hits. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But it's not to kill you. It's not to, sometimes it's to punish you. Let's be real. Let's be real. Oh, we're going to talk this thing right this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But all of it, he said, the good and the bad, Romans 8, 28, work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. What am I saying? A lot of us are going through because God is trying to build you. Let me tell you something. I said it yesterday and I'm going to break it down. Judgment begins in the house of God. That's why people say don't judge. I'm laughing at you. Yes, I am. Because if it begins in the house of God, how much more of the world will be judged? Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. So you got to understand we ought to look at each other and say, um, what's going on here? What you doing? Uh, God didn't say do that. That's not of God. Come on, somebody. So, so let's get back to the story at hand. So Job was being tested. And I mean, even Job, now, now he kind of, he didn't sin, but he, he got in a position, the same position that Jesus was in. You remember when Jesus was at the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, he, he, he started thinking about that thing. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. They, they're about to kill me. I got to go to this cross and, and it's not, it, it Wait a minute, they're going to they gonna nail me. Because trust me, he knew everything was going to happen. But, but and, and I mean, they say that he was sweating blood. Now, I don't know about you. I've sweated, sweated sweat, but I've never sweated blood. So, so he must have been in excruciating pain. Y'all ain't, ain't ready for me this morning. And so he said, he said, but nevertheless, thy will be done. Well, that was the same moment that Job had on that bed. He's, he, his body covered with bras. He said, he said, woe is me. I, I wish I had never been born. Have you ever had an attack to where you wish you wasn't here? Don't play with me. We all have. There are times that God will allow things to hit you to the core of your spirit. And two things going to happen. Either you're going to fold 
or you're going to be bold. I'm going to say it again. Either you're going to fold or you're going to be bold, even with tears in your eyes, even with everybody turning their back, even with you saying, Lord, what is going on? Lord, are you even with me? Lord, is this you? Lord, what have I done? God, what is going on? I'm talking to you this morning. I'm trying to encourage you because one of the things I noticed is that the body of Christ is going through right now. But I told you what it is. I told you the other day. There's a shifting because there's a sifting. Uh, God is putting us in categories and you can better believe that this is happening. When God woke me up this morning and I woke up quick, I mean, you could tell that the angel of the Lord had touched me because I jumped up. I said, yes, Lord, y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, Deanna, let me tell you something. It's a shifting right now. He said, I'm putting everybody in the category and there's only two categories. I'm sorry. I, I thought y'all, I know y'all thought it was five, six or seven. Those that are righteous and those that are playing. You didn't hear what I just said. Those that are righteous and those that are playing. And just like Cain and Abel, y'all don't hear me. We didn't went back in time. Cain, Cain, I know you want to do what you want to do, but it's going to cost you and your generations. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Cain is going to cost you to the day you die, Cain. Y'all ain't ready for me. And then stop trying to kill Abel because they want to do what's right. So let's get back to the story of Cain. The Holy Ghost got me going. So. Job went through a lot. Job lost a lot. And, and, and the crazy part is, when I read this part of the Bible, I don't understand. Even his wife. No, hold on, hold on. Because I'm going to dissect that thing this morning. His wife. So you see, you got to understand. God knew his wife wasn't right. So God will allow. I love the way God thinks. You see, Satan think he winning. Even in this world today, y'all know it's true. It looks like Satan winning, huh? But God, let me tell you something. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. God is strategic. God say, I'm going to let them think they winning. It, it reminds me of Pharaoh. He said, Pharaoh, I made you to destroy you. I'm going to let you play yourself. I'm going to let you do this. I'm going to let you do that. And then I'm going to step in and show you who's boss. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So th th this thing gets deep because everybody just think that it was a test. God see what we don't see and God know what we don't know. Let me tell you this thing. For his wife to say curse God and die, that had been in her. You better understand what I'm saying. There are some things around you. There are some people around you that God is exposing. So he will use the storm to make you think, okay, I'm just going through. God is allowing this. God is sifting and shifting everything in your life, even you. Oh, honey, he's exposing everything and everybody, even the ones that's trying to hide because you know you got them little hiders. Oh, yeah, I call them hiders. I didn't make it up name. Y'all know I'm from Louisiana. That's what we do. I mean, you don't even know. But God said, I'm allowed this storm. Because what does a storm do? Debris flying all over the way. Tornado. Y'all don't understand why they're sent, huh? They're sent to expose everything that wasn't built by God. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. That wasn't of God. So his wife said, why don't you curse God and die? Have you ever had people around you that, that you thought that was for you? Come on, somebody. That you thought that loved you? Come on, somebody. That you thought that was on your side? So don't you notice that when you're going through the trials of Job, God is exposing everything so that you'll know who's with you, who's not, what you have and what you don't have, what you built and what you need to grow in. God is exposing your weaknesses and your strengths. You need to get that thing right there together. Come on, somebody. You know what that thing is. Don't play with me. You know what that thing is. Because that's one thing. Let me tell you something. Let's be, let's be very clear about this. God says, I wish that everybody would go to heaven. He said, I, 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 he don't even say, I wish, I, I, I want. But we all know that's not reality because people have the choice of free will. So everything that God does, he does it still with the grace and the mercy saying, get this thing together. Stop playing with me. I'm God. I see you. I know everybody else don't see you unless you have the prophetic gift. But I see what you're doing behind closed doors. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And truth be told, we see it too because we can feel. We, can't you tell when somebody's off? I don't care how much they try to play it off. Oh, I'm going here this morning. Some people ain't going to like me. But they have the God been on me all week. I, I can't stop it. I, I, I'm not apologizing for it. And if you don't like it, go to God. Let me tell you something. I, I, I see articulate preachers, and, and I'm talking about they speak powerful and are anointed, by the way. You better listen to what I'm saying. They are anointed and appointed, but they're doing some things in the backside. And so when they see me, they don't like me because they, they're wondering if I see you. I see you. I ain't judging you, but I see you. I see you, pastor. I see you preach. I see you, pastor, even on Facebook. I see what you're doing. Now, it's not for me to judge you. Now, if God tell me to 
to tell you about being corrected and repent. I'm going to do that. You can get mad if you want because he do it to me. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, so, so let, let's stay with the subject at hand. So the trials of Job, don't you know that God saying, Job, I see you and you're righteous. But there's some things around you you don't know about. Oh, come on, somebody. There's some things and you didn't know about. Because Job got to the point where he wished he had never been born. Are you serious? Hold on. So now, and he didn't even know what was in his wife fully. Because he looked at it and said, woman, are you serious? Oh, no, did she even died. Oh, y'all ain't ready. Everybody died around Job. And then God turned around and blessed him with better. We, we, we don't want to touch that subject. But if everything was really the way it was supposed to be, why did God allow so much death and destruction? Oh, I'm going somewhere this morning. Some of you are crying. Some of you are going through. God, why don't you understand that there's a blessing in the destruction? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know it don't feel good. I know you feel like I'm about to lose it. I'm telling so one more person. Say one more thing. I don't know if I'm going to still be a Christian. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't ever, don't ever act like you ain't never got to that point. Because there are times when you say, I wasn't always saved now. Don't test me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So there are times that God will allow testing so he can expose what's in you, what's around you, and what you're supposed to really be doing. So every test and every trial is a revelation. Oh, come on, somebody. And, and if you really want to know the truth, devastation must come so, so revelation can come. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. And let me tell you something. God never just plans anything he is systematically just like the enemy oh come on somebody hallelujah because notice god did it on purpose because god start god bragged about job because he knew the devil was gonna say well well he only liked that because come on somebody hallelujah see god is strategic god know how to lower the enemy in and the enemy think he's winning and God said, don't worry, because I want Job to see what's going on anyway. And I'm going to bless him. I'm going to bless him. I'm going to bless him. Now, we don't do it just for the blessings, because I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lesson in the blessing. Oh, come on, somebody. That's what I'm talking to you about this morning. Do, don't you dare be discouraged, but be encouraged. Because anybody that's a real Christian, I know you're going through, because this is testing time. Shifting and sifting. God is trying to tell. I'm going to be honest with you. He said, know those that labor among you with all due respect most of you don't know who laboring among you that, that that's god they ain't nothing but the devil the devil knows the bible better than us oh come on somebody he's been around god he knows how to fake the anointing y'all ain't ready for me so we got pastors preachers teachers everybody most performing God is about to expose everything in this world. You do you understand what I just said? This is a thus said the Lord. He said, judgment must begin in the house of God. I'm telling you right now, this is a warning. He's been having me warn people for what? A couple of days now. He said, this is a warning. If you're doing crooked, I'm going to expose you. I suggest you repent to me and publicly ask me, to, I mean, privately ask me to get you together before I publicly let everybody know what you've been doing. Oh, I know you. I know it's tight, but it's right. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh. I'm in that too. So, so, so you see, I think people get it twisted. Like I'm just, no, I'm talking, he talking to me too. <laughs> Hello. This ain't no game. We can all get it. Hallelujah. So let's talk about the trials of Job. Let's finish that. So if you're going through my brother and my sister, it is not to kill you. It is to build you. If you're going through, it is to take that stuff out of you. You know what I'm talking about. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because God is refining this church. God said the church came in power and we're leaving in power. The power of the Holy Ghost is about to hit this earth like never before. Revival is coming. But there must be a cleansing of the saints. Hallelujah to his name. And he ain't playing, by the way. You playing. But he ain't playing. And he's serious. He's quite serious. Trust me. I've been, I mean, I've been feeling it. And, and the way, you can always tell because the delivery. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is not playing with any of us. God is tired. God is tired of people thinking that he is not God. He said, I am God all by myself. Where were you when I made the heavens and the earth? Answer if I can. Didn't he say that to Job? Well, he's saying it to you. Where were you? Where were you? You weren't even born. You weren't even formed. I formed you. And he said, I blew breath into you. And he said, as I blew the breath into you, I can withdraw it at any time. Do you understand who God is? 
Because we have a generation that don't know who God is. And y'all be trying to y'all be trying to make God a, a swagger God and, and a cool God and, and, and a, a down God. Can I tell you something? God is holy. And everything that he represents is holy. So if you don't represent holiness, you are a liar before God. God ain't swag. Y'all sitting up there bringing